Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a random password generator in Excel. So in this example, I have these four cells and they're going to create random characters. So for example, if I press the F9 key, you'll notice that the numbers are randomly generated. This first cell creates a random number between 0 and 9. The second cell creates a random number between 33 and 47 and brings it into this char function, which is a character function. And based on the ASCII number from 1 to 255, it will bring back a character. In this instance, it's going to be these wildcard characters, like percentage, the at symbol, whatnot. The, the third one here is going to do a random number generated between 65 and 90 and bring back capital letters. The fourth one here is going to create a random number between 97 and 122 and put it into the character function or the char function and bring back the lowercase number, the lowercase letters. Let me unhide these columns here so I will show you uh, what this does or this just gives, gives you a description. Uh, I have here a function called formula text and I'll show you the formula that gets generated in the cell. So we have this formula text A2 here and formula text A3 it just shows you what formula or what functions is in the cell and these are the descriptions for it. So I bring up the concept of this char function and the char function is going to give you the character based on the ASCII number. So if I were to line it out here, let me put number here, if I were to showcase you what it meant and I do the ASCII character, so let's say I say the number one here and control enter, I'm going to stay in that cell, but I'm going to fill this all the way down to 255. So I'm going to use the uh, fill function here, fill series, and I'm going to fill down the row and 255, click OK, and it all goes all the way down. And this character function, I'm going to use the char function tab to uh, complete it or just take that uh, uh, the tip there and it's going to give me open uh, parentheses and I'm going to do the character in cell E2 which is the number one. Press enter you can see it's a blank. Now if I double click the fill handle here it's going to copy down this uh, char function. Double click that and now you notice that it's filled out so the number two has the ASCII, this ASCII character. Now, if we look at uh, the, this particular function, char 33 to 47, if I go all the way down here from 33 to 47, you'll notice that these are the wild cards. So I'm going to highlight that. Maybe I'll give that a highlight here of, uh, I don't know, this gold color, right? And then I'm just going to go and highlight this one, go. The second one is the char function, which is all my uppercase letters, 65 to 90. If I go to 65, you'll notice here, from 65 to 90, these are all the uppercase, right? Let me highlight this a little bit. Now let's highlight this blue, control home to go back up to the top here, and I'm going to highlight this blue, right? And then from char function 97, 122, 97 to 122 are my lowercase letters, 97 to 122, right? So these are my lowercase letters. Let me just highlight this. So these are the char these are the characters that bring back based on the uh, character number. Right? So how do we create a password out of this? Well, so let's say that we wanted to create a eight digit password. And uh, I'm gonna just title this first heading. So let me title this character. Right? So what I'll do is I'll just use maybe I want my first character to be a capital. I'll copy that. Paste here, so now we got 65 to 90, and then maybe my second one, it's going to be a number, control C, control V, maybe my third one, I'm going to have lowercase, control C, control V, control V, and I'll, maybe I want a, a wildcard now, control C, control V, and maybe a number, another number, control C, control V, let's see, that is... Uh, six. So two more, right? So maybe I'll put another capital control C to, and then control V and maybe a lowercase control C and then control V. So all these are formulas, right? And if I wanted to have this one come first, so now what I can do is this is always going to be generated right dynamically. If I press the F9 key, you'll notice that it all changes. 
Now, if I want to create my eight character password, I can just type equals concatenate, press tab to select that, select that cell, comma, this one, comma, this one, comma, this cell, comma, this one, number six, seven, comma, and number eight, comma, shift, close parentheses, press enter, and I've got my random gener number. And if I press the F9 key a couple times, you'll notice now it all changes to something different. I can get a password that is different each time. Now, let's say, for example, I kind of wanted to mix it up here. If I wanted to mix it up, what I can also do is put a random number generator here. I'm just going to use the rand function. It's going to create a random number between uh, 0 and 1. So I'll just close parentheses, press Enter, and you now notice that there's a decimal there. And if I do it like that, what I can do now is I can reorder this. So now that I've got this in a random number generator, I can order this to ascending or descending. So if I uh, right click and click on sort, if I do smallest to largest, it's going to ask me to expand it. I don't want it to expand it. I want to continue with my current selection. Well, actually, I want to expand it to include that, right? So I click sort. And now you notice that the capital that was first here, now it's in the uh, fourth place because it sorted it. So if I did another sort, if I use the sort here, if I didn't do that sort, if I do another sort here, it's going to do the same thing. So it's changed it every time. Now the capital letter is in the second to the last place. So that's another way that we can randomize the different places that each of these sit in. So if we just wanted to stick with just the character here, and I just press the F9 key and have it generated. I can keep it that way if I wanted to change where the different portions or the different characters show up in the settings. I can right click here and go to sort or I can use the other the menu in the ribbon. But I'll use the right click here where I go smallest, small, smallest to largest. And we see that the sort has changed again where the capital is now at the last. And now the other ones, of course, have changed correspondingly. So that's a way that we can have some fun and create a random password generator in Excel. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.